Fourteen dog adventures Run, boy, run Everything you need is here Under the sun Everything you need is here Welcome to the Sporting Dog Adventures channel. Please like our video and subscribe so you catch our three new videos weekly. Good. Brad, Kevin, and Bill are up early and they're ready to hit the water with Bold Coast Outfitters. They're more than excited to get the decoys set and watch the birds work in. So this is the craziest thing. Not your standard duck hunting fair. Like I mentioned earlier, we've got 30 foot tides in this area. And so we started down here and we've already had to move twice. Keep moving up, keep moving up because the water keeps moving up. It's crazy, it's cool. That's a beautiful hen eider. And you know, typically, Duck hunters don't like to shoot a lot of hens, but the local biologists here in Maine are actually encouraging folks to shoot some of these hens because the drake eider is such a trophy that, you know, we're pulling a lot of them out of here, so they're asking us to help them out a bit and pick out a hen now and again. Well, let me tell you, this is a one of those bucket list hunts that uh, you got to do. A little breezy, uh, but this is interesting. Uh, I don't, you can't do this on inland lakes where you have to constantly retreat from the tide and adjust and move. It just adds to the challenge. These birds are challenging to kill and to take down. They're big. They're strong. Let me go pick it. That's got some weight on it. Nice. Cool. Good boy, John. This hunt had some long retrieves. Pickett was doing a great job in some difficult conditions. These sea ducks were tough. A lot of times they were hit, hit hard, but yet would still swim away. Occasionally, they had used a tender boat to collect them. This showed why it was so important to have a dog that would handle where you could send them on blind retrieve and direct them right to the bird. I've been ducking a long time. These are some of the toughest birds there are to kill. It's unbelievable how tough these birds are. We'll knock them down and we're using heavy shot, BBs, and threes. And when that duck is down, you have to continue to pound that duck when it's on the water to ensure that it gets killed. When we booked our hunt with John Roll from Bold Coast Outfitters, he told us that the best time to go out for rider hunting was in between about Thanksgiving and January 1st. He said that after Christmas, you really risked big seas and big weather. The limit was four riders, and our guys were definitely excited to try to put the smack down on them. We got a few birds down, a couple riders. Stay tuned for some more high-falling adventures. <laughs>